thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I am currently in a very remote part of India, here to check out a very mysterious and haunted stepwell known as the Chan Bowery. The Chan Bowery is an ancient stepwell located in Rajasthan, India. Parts of the structure can be dated back to the 8th or 9th century, with some additions such as a grand palace being added later. The Chan Bowery is said to be the deepest stepwell in the world, having 3,500 steps and descending 13 storeys deep. The structure has gained interest as a filming location, even featuring in the dark night rises. But it is the stories and legends of ghosts which truly make this place fascinating. And it was here that I had a strange experience I still cannot explain. So a lot of the mystery that surrounds the Chan Bowery, this massive stepwell, which is actually believed to be the deepest stepwell in the world, is that it was built in just one night. A lot of the locals believe that it was actually built by ghosts, which is seemingly impossible given that it is so deep, beautiful, and it has 3,500 steps within it. Another one of the legends surrounding this stepwell is that it is supposed to be haunted. It is in fact haunted by one particular djinn that never lets anyone ascend the stairs in the same order that they descended the stairs into the stepwell. Unfortunately, entry to the stepwell is blocked off, so I can't actually test that theory and get inside it myself, but we are gonna have a look around and explore and just see what this place is all about. stonework that are just lined up here and I'm assuming that they've been ruined and just collected um, and kept around just to see what the artwork was like once at the stepwell but we found this a little bit here is this some kind of like mosque thing maybe in there Alright guys, we're going to walk up and just peer over the edge, just to show you how deep it is. It's pretty far down. So the fence around the step hole is quite small, but I don't want to tempt fate and try and go down. We saw a bunch of kids give it a shot earlier and they got yelled at and then this woman ran out and like yelled at them some more and got them out. So I don't want to get yelled at too. <laughs> Oh, so these are really quite beautiful, all these sculptures and that. I'm not sure where they're exactly from. I'm guessing from the main temple in the middle of the stepwell. But they're really just intricate. So there's a lot of detail on some of these stones that are piled up here. And this thing, I don't know what the heck. This little exorcist neck bend thing is. So I was just trying to take a photo out here and I got a bit pissy because I thought Jared walked through it and there's no, he was actually over here, <laughs> there's no one here. It was like, I don't know, did I take a photo? I didn't even take the photo because I thought that you were in it. Did what did it look like? It was like a shadow. It was like someone walked I'm wearing here. a white t-shirt though. Well, I don't know what you're wearing. It was like someone walked here and then just stopped. And I stopped taking the photo. Well, wouldn't take the photo because I was like, oh, he'll walk out as soon as I take it and ruin it. So I don't know. That's weird. 
Maybe it was a gin. All right, so this was where I was standing trying to take a photo, right here. And it was, I just sort of seen someone in this doorway here. So this one, and then walk behind here. And I just, this last doorway here, I just kind of seen someone walk in there. And then, oh, I sent him on my screen and I thought it was Jared and then he was like over there. All right guys, because, I mean, I can't actually go into the step well, which I thought that I could and I kind of planned a whole uh, thing with that. I can't really show you much of that, which is a little bit disappointing, but to me, this is an intriguing place because it's somewhere that I actually seen something odd and seen something a little bit weird. So we're gonna hang around in this area and try and debunk what I may have seen or yeah what that could have been because that was odd I actually legitimately thought Jared was in my shot at my photo and he was over here he was standing where I am now so what I might do Jared if you can stand here okay so where I am now grinder so where I am now is where Jared was actually standing when this happened and I'm gonna make him stand there. Okay. I was over here. I was standing right here, about to take a photo over here, just like this. And this is the kind of window that I seen a shadow come across and then it hid behind this pillar. And I called out to Jared because I thought it was him and I was waiting for him to just ruin my shot and walk through here. So, why don't you go back in your hole and move around and see if you can create a shadow from in there. Alright, move, right, move around a bit. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Jared's there. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah, but there's, there's a... Go stand there now. Yeah, but there's a park there. I can't get through. Yeah. There's all rubble in that yard. I couldn't jump over there. I also can't see coming through shadow that Jared is creating from this area, which is odd. I mean... There are other tourists here, but there's... There, there's, there's well, I walked in here and there was no one. Yeah, this a whole aisle goes down here. So this one here is the pillar that I seen whatever it was come and stand behind. So yeah guys, that's odd, interesting. I always try to keep skeptical about these things. It could have just been my imagination or just, you know, thought that I seen something in the, the viewfinder of my camera and it might have actually been nothing, but who knows, I mean. It is odd and there's supposed to be a gin that hangs around here and they are uh, creatures that like to hang out in the dark ruins and the shadows and often described as like a shadow person which is sort of what I've seen uh, come through here behind. Um, but I'm not going to say for sure that it's paranormal and I'm a little bit annoyed at myself that I wasn't actually filming or took a photo. I legitimately thought that it was Jared. All right guys, since we couldn't get in the step well, we're checking out this awesome temple, which is right next door to it. All I know is that it was built by a king in the eighth or ninth century. So it is quite old and it's pretty cool looking and this, even the goats like it. Looks like it's got um, neck testicles. <laughs> Can you see him? Oh yeah. <laughs> what are they? I don't know. Do all goats have them? Oh my god, that one does near the tree. Oh yeah, they've they all got them. them. I've never noticed that before. They've got his neck danglies. 
There's a lot of cool stonework and Jared pointed out these ones kind of look like little tombstones. They're obviously not, but they just kind of look like, remind us of them. Little squirrels everywhere. I think these are peacocks. Is that a peacock? These mm, ones look like one. peacocks. That one for sure. So this one's really cool. It's just this super old temple and it's beautiful and I don't even know how it's still standing. Everything's just kind of piled up like all around the place. I don't even know if they're supposed to be there or they're from somewhere else, but it is really cool. And no entrance fee or anything, it's just in the middle of nowhere. Anyone can come and go. See? Middle of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please let me know in the comments as well if you've ever seen something odd like that before and if you have any thoughts on what it may have been. If you want to read more about this place, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time. <laughs>